Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and hope you're having a great time. Uh, Alexander Marin and Olivier Danjou with you again. This week we'll go ahead and talk about uh, voice profile creation and management in JAWS. Many of you are having a lot of questions regarding the way to create profile and how to use them with uh, different languages. So uh, we'll give you tools to better understand this part of JAWS. Enjoy! Before we start discussing about voice profile in JAWS, I'd like to come back on a few things about the podcast we did on Focus 45th Generation. Uh, first of all, when I did the podcast, I was talking about the uh, power button that was a bit different compared to the uh, old Focus 40 Blue. Uh, in fact, there's no possibility to hardly press the button on this unit only because uh, when I did the demo unfortunately I received from the company who developed the focus I received a, a defect board I'm so sorry about this and but yes I received I think was a beta or demo or anyways I got a, a defect board now Yes, the button is a bit different when you touch it. However, it's exactly the same feeling when you press the button if you compare to the previous generation of focus. And uh, it's similar to pressing a um, home button on an iPhone. Also, I'll be able right now to uh, show you uh, better the um, procedure to switch between Bluetooth devices connected to this unit. So actually, I have uh, three devices connected to this unit. I have an iPhone in English, a kangaroo in English, as well as my French computer. These devices are respectfully connected to Bluetooth 4, Bluetooth 5, and Bluetooth 3. Okay, and now it is possible to switch between these devices by pressing the menu and dot one through five for each Bluetooth devices and menu plus dot eight for the USB connection. The way it works, you need to press menu and hold menu in the first time and in a second time you need to press the corresponding dot to the device you'd like to switch to. So be sure to press menu first and hold this key before pressing the corresponding dot. Uh, because if you're not doing this, if you press simultaneously menu and the dot, the focus can uh, freeze sometime. So I'll show you how it's easy to switch between connected device with the focus. So let's go first and select the iPhone. Camera. Mat. So now I'm Clock. just Mat. using Camera. <coughs> Photos. Cord four Calendar. and Photo. one cord. Mat. Clock to weather move around home. icon. Weather. Then Clock. let's home. select my desktop. Panneau computer. de configuration. Utilisateur. Panneau de configuration. Open Boonus. Panneau de config. Utilisateur. Ce PC. There we go. I'm still using four cord and one cord. Utilisateur. Ce PC. And then let's select kangaroo. Re this PC. Recite. This PC. Right. Recycle bin. Acrobat. Just FS to show you Acrobat. how quick it's Recycle easy. Bin. Stop. Coming Notes. back to home. the iPhone. Weather. Okay. So that's Double the way it home. work. With Double these commands open. available, available. it's panneau de configuration. really easy to move across devices that are connected to the device. Today for this uh, podcast, we'll join uh, Olivier from uh, La Malbe. He is online uh, with me. So we'll uh, discuss uh, me and Olivier about voice profile. However, before anything, we'll have a great news for you. So hi, Olivier. Hi, Alec. How are you doing? How are you? Great. And so for those who don't know about this uh, great news, what is the uh, fantastic news we, we got this week? A Canadian Log Podcast are now available on iTunes as well as on the Victor Reader stream. Yes, for sure. So uh, as the general request, we were able to now provide um, podcast feeds uh, 
uh, for iTunes users and uh, the podcast uh, is also available in the uh, suggested podcast list available on Victor Reader Stream if you are using either the uh, American English uh, suggested list from Humanware or if uh, you're using the French Canadian suggested list. And by the way, for the iPhone, maybe I can do a small demonstration of this. So Dot. let's Safari. go into page two the or three. Uh, podcast page podcasts. Cal- podcasts. So Double let's open, open the podcast apps. There we go. Podcasts. And so on, let's go into the search tab. Search tab for selected search Excellent. tab. Search, search, heading, podcasts, search field. And then if Double I Double tap to edit. And swipe up or down to select a custom action. Quick nav off. Search field. Is editing. Canadian podcasts. C A N A D I A F O G. And Canadian log. And so if I look at the search result. Shows. Heading. Canadian log. Le podcast Canadian at Frank of and Trade and Desk Technologies. Okay, so that's the French podcast. Canadian log. The Canadian podcast related to assistive technologies for visually impaired persons. There Canadian log. Button. So if I double click on it, Canadian log. search artwork image Canadian log the Canadian podcast Canadian log button subscribe button. and then I can subscribe Actions available. to it. Subscribe. So double click. Fantastic. Search back button hosted by and Alexander hosted by Alexander Bellimer and Olivier Danjou. This podcast offers tips and tricks in the daily there we go. artwork. That's a description. Canadian log. Canadian log. And then subscribe. I can see more. all button. the shows. Not that enough rate. Hosted by Alex. More Bu- recent episodes. December 2nd, having issues, November, Oops. December 2nd, having one. issues with Firefox and your screen reader. We explain, December, Canadian, the play, in the, play, 16 minutes, play. button, play, 16 minutes. And it automatically starts. So, okay, if you are having some issues or would like to know more. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I'll close this one. Uh, so, if you are having some questions or would like uh, support to add a podcast to your iPhone or Victor stream, just let us know and we'll be more than happy to assist you with uh, this. Okay, so Olivier, maybe we can uh, discuss a bit about uh, voice profile. In a few words, can you tell us what is exactly a voice profile and what we use it for? Yeah, so a voice profile is essentially a variety of settings which, when they are mixed together, you can have different settings from or different languages. You can have different voices in a specific application with different speeds. There's a lot of settings in voice profiles. We're going to explore them later on. Yes, so for example, we can use voice profiles for um, changing language quickly or to um, set up a different profile, each one for a different voice. So maybe uh, actually by default, the uh, voice profile in use in JAWS will be the eloquence profile. So let's hear what is eloquence. Alt tab, JAWS professional. Here we go. And what's the best procedure if we want to adjust settings for eloquence? You will go to your JAWS window. So press insert J. Yes, and I'm then go already to in. your options. There we go. Alt O. Alt O. Menu. Application menu. Basics. Dot dot dot. The navigator. Then go to voices. V. Voices sub menu. V. All right. Enter. Okay, voice press enter. Dot dot dot. V. Voice adjustment. There it is. Leaving menus. Voice adjustment dialog. Profile name colon combo box. Eloquence dash left parent factory right parent. One of five. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Alt plus P. So. Here we have five voice profiles available. So the first one is Eloquence. Yes, okay. And uh, before we go forward in this list, maybe we can uh, talk a bit more about Eloquence. And after that, we'll see uh, how we can change profile and how to generate new one. Okay, so maybe we can go ahead and press tab on Eloquence and see the different settings that are available from here. Tab, synthesizer, language, colon, combo, box, match, JAWS, UI, language, left parent, primary, right parent, one of 11. To change the selection, use the arrow keys, alt plus L. 
So here you can select the language where you want to configure your voice for. For example, right now it is set to English US, but you might prefer it in English British or English Australia. I don't know if Eloquence has English Australia, but I know it has British for sure, but it has different English dialects. Or if your second language is French and you want eloquence in French, you would go there and select French. Yeah, there's no English Australia. It's uh, available with uh, different uh, third party app synthesizer, but for eloquence, there is not English American and English uh, British. Okay, so let's continue. Tab, speak sample button to activate, press space bar, alt plus M. So this button would give you the opportunity to hear the voice as it is set right now. Space, this is a sample of the currently selected voice using the current voice settings. Tab, voice adjust colon combo box, all contexts, one of five. To change the selection, use the arrow keys, alt plus V. Here you have multiple contexts. Right now it's on all contexts, but you have different contexts. If you down arrow, for example, PC cursor voice, JAWS PC cursor, cursor voice, voice. JAWS keyboard cursor voice. voice, tutor and message voice. And what is a tutor message? It's uh, messages that are available when, like, having some information coming up from JAWS. So let's say that I'm going back to my desktop. Windows D. Windows D. Folder view, list view, recycle bin, 3 of 15. To move to items, use the arrow keys. To edit the selected item, press F2. So the tutor message was to move to item, use the arrow keys. To edit the selected item, press F2. And as you heard, it used a different bit. So these messages are depending, like if you're using advanced verbosity mode in JAWS, you can hear less message than if you use the beginner mode in JAWS. So I'll press home key to come back to all contexts. Home, all contexts. And press tab. Tab, voice, rate, colon, 57, left, right, slider, 15%, to increase or decrease, use the arrow keys. Here this is the speech rate of the voice. So if I press a page up. 34%, 43%, 52%. There we go. Oh, 0%. So I put it back to 0. And. And then. That's. Very Can you understand something? Uh, not really. <laughs> Me neither. Not sure how I'll use this uh, speed every day. <laughs> Zero, five, fourteen, sixteen so percent. Put it back to let's say sixteen percent. Okay, and let's continue. Tab voice punctuation colon combo box most three or four to change the selection so, use the arrow keys. Voice punctuation. This is like for example earlier we heard. JAWS language colon English US uh, left parenthesis primary right parenthesis. So you have a couple of options. You can set it to tell you most punctuations, all punctuation, some punctuation, or none. And the level of punctuation, you can find the definition and the JAWS help topic to see exactly which sign will be announced depending on the level you choose. Tab, voice spell rate change percent colon edit minus 20, type and text. Okay, so this settings is when you want to have a word spelled, it will be the speed of the voice in which it will spell you the word. So for example, in Microsoft Word, when you hit F7, just spells you the word. So the speed will be the speed which is set here. Yeah, and let's say, for example, that um, we'll 
go ahead and spell the word or verb have h a v e okay so if the we select for example minus 20 h a v e if we select a speed of 60 h a v e you know so it's going to change uh, spelling rate when pressing for example uh, 055 on the numbering keypad to spell the word the current word under the cursor so that's the way it works and by the way uh, by default it's uh, um, a negative value so you can enter positive or negative value and it's a standard edit box so if you move with arrow keys zero two dash two zero Blank. So you just uh, clear the value that actually uh, set there, and you put the value you'd like to put there. Tab voice uppercase pitch change percent colon edit twenty type and text. So this is when you enter capital letters with some synthesizers like Eloquence and Vocalizer. It can speak the capital letters in a higher pitch. So this determines how higher it will be f f f f so when the pitch is higher i'm pressing a capital letter f f f yeah sorry it's only because i'm actually in the uh, uh, text zone and i'm putting f f f f f there anyways <laughs> but you can see what is the uh, pitch for capital letters so i'll go ahead and press back tab uh, until i'll find the context selector shift tab voice spell minus 20 type it shift tab voice shift tab voice shift tab voice adjust colon combo box all contexts one of five touch and maybe let's go ahead and select the pc cursor pc cursor voice and we'll see that if we press tab from here we'll have other settings that will be available Tab, voice person, colon, combo box, read, one of eight. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. So the selectors will allow you to choose which voice you'll prefer. Depending the speech synthesizer you'll be using, you'll have uh, sometime the possibility to select the voice in all contexts. For some others, you'll need to select a specific context to be able to select the person. So let's go down. Shelly, Bobby, Rocco, Glenn, Sandy, Grandma, Grandpa, Grandma, Sandy, Glenn, Rocco. So let's go with Rocco. And uh, let's press tab and let's see which settings are available. Tab, voice, rate colon 57, left right slider 15%. Eh? So that's the same thing as before, the rate. So for the speed. Tab, voice punctuation, colon, combo box, most, three. Same thing as before. Tab, voice, pitch, colon, 60, left, right, slider, 59%. Here's <laughs> the pitch selector, so I can move with the uh, pitch. Six, seven, 86, 95%. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Think uh, Rocco is very excited now. 100%. Oh, here we go. 100. Oh. Tab, OK button. Our little voice. child who is just super happy. Yeah, but uh, a child with the voice modified by a computer software or something. Anyways. Yeah. I wonder what Bobby would like would look like. <laughs> Maybe we can do and test it. Bobby. Bobby. Tab, voice punctuation, tab, OK button, shift tab, voice, pitch colon 93, and 100%, tab, OK oh. button, shift tab, Yo. voice, home, 0%. Oh my god, think Bobby, uh, <laughs> think uh, Bobby has a big, big call, okay, winter time. Oh, winter is coming. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyways, so uh, that's the pitch selector. And um, from there, maybe let's select uh, something better for Bobby. 81%. Okay, maybe, whatever. Let's select this one. It's going to be better for the for next control. And then if we press tab. Tab, OK button to activate press space bar. 
that's the OK button that will allows you to uh, save the actual profile, and uh, that um, will close the actual window. Tab save as dot 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 button to activate press space bar Alt plus S. Save as button as a Word document. It's the same thing. It's similar. You can uh, click Save As, then enter a personalized name for this profile. So let's say uh, English Bobby with a big cold. <laughs> so you can <laughs> enter a name like this one. Pressing Tab again. Tab Apply button to activate. Press Space Bar Alt plus A. And the Apply button. What is that? So the Apply button is essentially the same thing as the OK button, which means it will save the changes you made. However, it will not close the window. So let's say you make some changes and now you make some other changes. You will still be able to make some changes because you will still be in the dialog box. That's true. So um, maybe let's close this dialog box. Pressing just escape. Escape. Jaws professional. And we're back to uh, our default profile. Maybe we can uh, show you right now how to create a profile for a specific voice and with a different speech synthesizer. So let's say that you'd like to use eloquence in English or vocalizer. Uh, Hava, and you'd like to switch between these two voices, it's going to be possible with two different profiles. So let's go ahead and create this uh, separate profile, especially for Hava. So again, I'll go ahead in the option menu, hold O. Hold O, menu, application menu, basics, dot, 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 and voices, sub menu, V. Voices. Enter, voice adjustment, dot, 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 V. And voice adjustment. Enter. Leaving menus. Voice adjustment dialog. Profile name. Combo box. Eloquence. One of five. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Alt plus P. So we have eloquence. Microsoft Mobile dash left paren factory right paren. Microsoft Mobile. So these voices come with Windows 10. They are also available in NVDA. They are called Windows One Core Voices instead of Microsoft Mobile. And basically, if you want to be able to use them with JAWS, for example, Microsoft Mark, which is a new voice, you need at least JAWS 2018. SAPI 5X dash left paren factory right paren. SAPI 5X, so like many voices in the past, or supporting this technology. Still today there's Eloquence by Code Factory that you can install. And basically Sapi 5 voices will work with all available screen readers that support Sapi 5. Sapi 5 X64 dash left paren factory right paren. This is a newer version of Sapi 5, however some old voices don't work with the X. 64. Vocalizer expressive dash left paren factory right paren. And we have vocalizer expressive. So maybe we can tab uh, there and we'll adjust settings for our needs and create an English profile. Tab synthesizer language colon combo box. Match JAWS UI language left paren primary right paren one of three to change the selection. Okay, I'll press control here. Um, I'll make sure because JAWS can be installed in many different languages at the same time. I'll just go ahead and make sure to select English because if I change the main JAWS language for French, just want to make sure that the profile will remain in English for its primary language. So let's English go down. dash United States. And I'll press tab. Tab. Set language as primary button. To activate and press space I'll bar. And I'll set as primary the language. Space. There we go. 
And let's continue. Tab. Speak sample button. To activate pr tab. Voice adjust colon combo box. All contexts. One of five. To change the selection use the arrow tab. Voice person colon combo box. Ava premium high dash United States. So, one of one. To change here, the selection use the arrow keys. If you remember, with eloquence you could not uh, directly change voice. So basically if you want Bobby everywhere, you need to go in. All of the contexts, so PC cursor voice, keyboard voice, etc., and put all of them with Bobby. Here you can choose directly the voice that you want. So that's going to be faster. Actually, I have only one voice because I've just installed one. That's the reason why. But if I install more than one, I'll have the choice and be able to select. And by the way, please keep in mind that depending on the language we select in the previous drop down list, the voices will be different. Okay, so we'll uh, see that a bit later. Tab, voice, rate colon 100. Left right slider, 14%. So this is a very slow voice. Maybe I can increase the speed a little bit. 35%. Well, maybe 30, too 30, faster. 30, 31, 30%, 30%, 20, 27, 26%, 25%. Sounds great like this. Tab, voice punctuation, colon, combo box. Most, three of four. And Two change. here Tab, are voice, the volume, exact colon, 70. Left right slider, 66%. Same to increase setting. or decrease, use the arrow keys. Except for the volume. So from here, you can adjust the volume of the voice and you can adjust it depending on the context. Uh, this is a special option for vocalizer voices. Tab, voice spell rate change percent colon edit minus Something. tab, voice uppercase pitch change. And the uppercase pitch. Tab, OK button. There we go. Tab, save as Before dot I'll save this profile. Tab, apply button. I'll go ahead and perform some settings for French. Tab, cancel button. Tab, profile name colon comp. Tab, synthesizer language colon combo box. English dash United States left paren primary right paren. Two I'll of three. Just go down. French Canada. French Canada. Yeah, not French, but French Canada. Uh, <laughs> I'll press tab. Tab. Set language a primary button. To activate, press space bar. Okay, so now it's speaking with a French voice. So set language as primary. I'll not click on this one because French will be a secondary language. So pressing tab again. Tab. Spear sample button. Tab. Voice adjust. Combo box. Ali context. One of five. Tab. Voice person. Combo box. Amli Premium High Canada. Over. So here's the My voice favorite person. voice. Yeah. So what is this voice? Why it changes? It's only because we're on French, right? Yeah. Tab. Voice. Rat. Sans. Lèvres te slide. 14 pers. Okay. Uh, let's say that I have difficulties with French. Um, learning French, actually. So let's... Put the, the rate as lowest as possible. 23, 20, 18 pers. 15, 12, 19, 8, 6 pers. Okay, let's see. I'm going to fall asleep. Oh, I think me too, but anyways, for the demo, it's going to be just perfect. Tab, voice punctuation. Tab, voice volume. 80. Tab, voice spell ratch. Tab, voice upper cast pitch. Tab, OK button. And to then let's not click on OK, but let's li let's click on Save As. Tab. Save as do 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 button. To activate Save press bar. 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 Cinq of I'll just write down English. E N G A E S H. Then press enter. Ante. Make default voice profile dialog. Do you want to make ah. English the default voice profile? Yes button. To activate, press space bar. Alt plus Y. What is that? So essentially, uh, it's so that we have made some changes. So it's asking, hey, do you want to make this voice profile your default voice profile? Or do you want to stick with your old one? So in this case, it would be eloquence. 
Correct. So maybe let's go in and say answer yes to this question. Space. Voice adjustment dialog. Profile name colon combo box. And then we'll need to go ahead and click OK. So I'll back tab and select Shift tab, OK. Cancel but Shift tab. Save as dot. Shift tab. OK but enter. Jaws professional. And there we go. So from now on, my default Jaws profile is the vocalizer English profile with Hava as my uh, primary voice for English and as the secondary language, the MAD French Canadian voice. Um, let's go ahead and create a French profile with um, uh, one that the uh, primary language will be French. We'll see later on what is the difference. So I'll go ahead and create this very quickly. Menu bar, applic, menu, vo braille dot dot, voices enter, voice adjustment dot dot, enter, leaving menus, voice adjustment dialog, <laughs> profile name colon combo box, English, six of six, to change the select. Profile name colon combo box, English, six of six, V, vocalizer expressive. Tab, delete profile, tab, synthesizer language colon combo box. F, French Canada, tab, set langage a primary button, space, jao dialo, warning. Are you sure you want to change the primary language for type profile so tight no longer match the UI language? Don't so me cause the synthesis to mispronounce the of the UI. You button. To activate press pass bar. Alt plus Y. What is this message? It's only a warning regarding the fact that uh, JAWS is actually installed in English and that if you select a default French voice, uh, it can cause some issues. But that exactly what we are looking to do. So I'll answer yes to the question. Space voice adjust medialo set language a primary button. Ante tab spear sample button tab voice adjust combo box ali context tab voice person comp tab voice rat 135 pers 47 pers 35 pers Tab, oh, voice punctuation, you. combo box, somme, 2 of 4, to change the selection no of the keys. Tab, voice, volume, tab, voice, tab, tab, ok button, tab, sa voix, point, point, space, sa voice, profil dialo, voice, profil name, edit combo, vocalizer expressive, 5 of 6, F, A, E, C, H, en T, voice, adjust, media dialo, sa voix, point, 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 button, to activate, press, pass bar, alt, plus S, make default voice, profil dialo, and you want to make French the default voice, profil, and here, I'll answer no, right? Tab, no button, to activate, press, pass bar, space, voice, adjust, media dialo, profil, and click on OK, shift, shift, tab, happy button, shift, tab, sa voix, point, 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 shift, tab, ok button, space, make default voice, profil, tab, no button, make default, space, no. So what's happened here? After creating the profile, I've clicked on Save As and enter French. And uh, from there, I was prompted to answer the question if I'd like to have this profile as default. I click no because actually I'm using an English computer and I'd like that my primary profile uh, remain in English. So that's the reason why. And uh, this is it. So actually I'm back in English and ready to work. So maybe we can uh, talk about the possibility to select profile in different application. Yeah, so it might be useful, for example, when I work in Microsoft Word. I'm using Vocalizer all the time as my primary synthesizer. But when I work in Microsoft Word, I like it to be slower. So what I did, I created a specific profile like we did uh, in the voice adjustment settings. I named it Word. And when it asked me, do I want to make it as my default profile, I said no, but this does not apply on today's computer because this is my computer. We will show you how to do it with Notepad, but this is the exact same thing. So once your profile is created, go ahead and open up your application where you want to have a specific voice profile. Search box edit, type it. Equals E Notepad Desktop App. Enter Untitled Dash Notepad. Edit. Now you need to press Insert Control S. Select a voice profile dialog. Default colon combo box. English six of seven. To change the selection, use the arrow keys Alt plus D. 
So it says default press tab. Tab for notepad colon combo box. Use default one of eight to change the selection. Use the arrow keys. Alt plus F. So it detected that we were in notepad. So now the current choice is use default. But if we down arrow. Eloquence. Eloquence. There we go. So now tab. Tab. OK button to activate press okay. space button. Edit. Type and text. And I also want to mention that in NVDA, you can work with multiple voice profiles as well, but it will be in another podcast. H E L L O X Enter Hello Blank Window Folder View List View FS Reader 3.0. So now we are back at the default voice profile. All tab, untitled dash notepad. Blank, hello. Blank. So we can uh, navigate and like from the desktop to the notepad and then select a specific or personalized profile for each application we're working on. Uh, maybe we can start discussing a bit about language. So let's go ahead and open Internet Explorer and open a website. Wind. Folder view, list view, FS reader, I, Internet Explorer, enter, Google dash Internet Explorer, Google, search edit, escape, virtual. I'll go on the Canadian log website. Control L, address and search using Bing edit, C A N A D A L O G P S O M, enter. Canada Dialogue Shared Perspectives. Canada Dialogue Shared Perspectives. RSS feeds. Page has six regions. Seven. Canada Dialogue Shared. Same page. Same page link. Skip to content. All right. So now the website is in English. I'll go ahead and open the French version of the website. Pressing Insert F7. Dialogue. Links list dialogue. Links list view. And F4 French. F. Francais. Oh, yeah. It's a... Uh, Français. Enter. Pressing enter. Français link. Okay, so here Français we go. Visited link. Canada dialogue. You probably remember that previously to uh, the demonstration we did in Notepad, you probably remember that uh, when creating my English profile, I've selected setting for my secondary language, the French, and I put the voice very slow. <laughs> Yeah, extremely slow. I will fall into sleep. <laughs> so here we go. Maybe I can uh, go down uh, a bit in the website so you'll see how it's going to be uh, read. Same page link. Allez à la navigation. Same page link. Allez au contenu. List of seven items. Link. Téléphone 1-888-730-0000. Send mail link. Courriel info arrobas canadialo.com So in Word document, in website, if the language is correctly indicated because uh, there is a, a markup system for language, uh, the voice will be changed automatically. If you'd like to turn off these features, because in some case, the language cannot be properly indicated. So what I mean by this, let's say that I'm a bad webmaster, I'm creating a website, and yes, I need to put a special code for content in French, a special code for the content in English. Let's say that I'm very bad, and instead of putting <coughs> the French code for the French content, I'll go ahead and put Spanish. So what will go on? The content will be read with a Spanish voice instead of a French one, even if the content is written in French. So that can cause some bad situation. So if you'd like to turn off language detection for a specific application, you can do it by pressing in this application, insert V, Quick settings dash Internet Explorer dialog. Search box edit. Type in text. And let's type from there lang. L A N G. Primary recognition language. So, One of four. Okay, let's four. Uh, drop down 
uh, to select uh, detect language. Secondary recognition. Language detect change check. So Reading option. Language detect change. It's actually check. Let's uncheck this. Space, not check. And so I'll press tab. Tab, read only edit. This option controls whether or not JAWS detects changes in languages within documents which support language tags. For example, if JAWS finds Spanish text, use your reading keys to read the text. So that's the description of this feature. Tab, expand tree view checkbox checked. To click. Okay, we don't care. Tab, OK button. And to enter. OK Telephone button. One to validate on this. And there is also another setting available through the setting center, generalized dialect. This setting will allow you to uh, use the same English voice. Let's say because there's uh, some different dialect under English language, for example, English US, English UK. So these dialects are different. It is possible for somebody who will uh, set up the language for uh, text to indicate the dialect. So let's say that I'm putting some text in English UK, English Australia, but I'm using an English US voice. The voice can automatically switch to an English UK voice. So if you don't want this behavior occur, you can turn off the uh, generalize dialect option and to the setting center. So let's go ahead and read the text now. List of seven I link telephone one eight send mail link coral info tie do text law tie actual do text the state one hundred percent. So now the French content is read with the English voice, and if we'd like to manually change in the voice profile, the actual English voice profile, the voice for a French voice, temporarily, let's press Control Windows L. Select a language dialogue. Le French left paren, Canada right paren. Then let's press Enter on French Canada. Enter. Taille du text la taille. Augmenter de 25% la taille du texte du site. Diminuer de augmenter les contrastes de le botanus jaw qui plus elle te plus aime tout move to contre l'aide elle Link nous joindre. Okay, and now all the text is read with a French voice. As soon as I'll press Alt-Tab or Windows D or Alt-F4. Alt-Tab, Jaws Professional, Jaws, Jaws Ver Back to English, pressing Alt-Tab again to toggle to the website. Alt-Tab, can a dialogue. Augmenter like contrast link new back to the English voice. And now uh previously we create a French profile. So let's press insert control S. Select a voice profile dialogue. Default colon combo box. English. Six and seven. I'll go ahead and select the French profile as my default profile. F French. And press enter. Enter. Nous joindre ligne. Now you'll see that all the stuff will be Read in French. Link mon compte. Visited link English. And it now it's faster because I've selected a faster faster voice. Listen. Recherche pour. ID. Yeah, okay, list. Huh? It's not <laughs> yeah, okay for list and uh, because yeah, uh, just messages remain in English but are pronounced with a French voice. Uh, let's say right now that um that I'd like to come back on my desktop. Windows D. List of you. Internet Explorer. 13 or 15. To move to it. Amuse the arrow keys. Volume. It's my French voice. Why it said Windows D? It's only because there is a setting in the setting center related to the language, the um, related to keyboard language detection. Sorry. This setting allows you to make JAWS detect the language of your keyboard. And if you're using an English keyboard, the letter, like when pressing keys on the keyboard, they'll be pronounced with an English voice. If you're using a French keyboard, they'll be pronounced with a French voice. This is a setting available since I think uh, JAWS 16 or 17, I think. So that's the reason why, because this uh, setting is checked by default in English version of JAWS and it is not and French Canadian version of JAWS. So just to let you know. 
And this is how it works, okay, regarding the language. If I'd like to switch back to my English profile, uh, because I've changed my default profile for the, the French profile, I'll need to press again, insert control S. Select a voice profile dialog, default, combo box, French, set of set, to French, and then I'll need to press E to select English. E. Eloquence. E again. E. English. Enter. Enter. There we go. Windows D. Folder view, list view, volume, 14 of 15. So that's the way it works for language detection. And that's how you can use voice profile to select uh, or to navigate across a language and to use a specific voice profile for a specific language. I don't know, uh, Olivier, if you'd like to add something to this. Well, you've covered uh, pretty much everything. I will eventually do the same kind of podcast about NVDA as well, because as I told, it has similar features such as profiles, language detection. So I might make one on NVDA about this. Just before we conclude, I would like to add about the podcast that if you're using an app, for example, on Android, like Podcast Static, as long as you're using the iTunes, search engine you should be able to find the podcast and subscribe to them because many podcast readers are using the itunes podcast catalog they are not all using itunes but um uh, yes, uh, some are using it. And by the way, if you're unable to find the Kenny Dialogue podcast on a certain platform, please let us know. Maybe we can uh, submit the feeder to these platforms. So uh, you can still send us an email, contact us over the phone, uh, send us paper mail if you really want, but we <laughs> we're not fan of paper mail, anyways. Uh, so yes, you'll find all contact detail in the uh, at the end of this uh, episode. So I think this is our last podcast of the year 2017. Yes, I think so. Yes, hope you uh, appreciate uh, the podcast. Uh, we just launched in 2017 and hope we'll continue in 2018. Don't hesitate to give us your comment and feedback and suggestions. Yes, I will wish you to, all of you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year 2018. Have a lot of fun with your family and friends in the holiday. Same thing for you, Alex, and I hope we will be able to see each other in the holiday. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. And by the way, uh, we wish you health, money, and all the things you want yeah. for 2018. Thank you very much, Olivier. And bye for now. Thanks. Bye. Before the end of this podcast, I would like to say you thank you for your loyalty to this series of podcasts on assistive technologies. I would also like to thank our loyal collaborator. As a reminder, I would like to inform you that Canadialog will not provide free technical support on product presented during these shows and that are not sold directly by Kenny Dialogue. Please note that our podcasts are now available on our website, YouTube, iTunes, as well as on Victor devices by consulting the North American English suggested podcast list from Humanware. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can contact us via email at podcastwitness at kennydialogue.com that is P-O-D-C-A-S-T-S at C-A-N-A-D-I-A-L-O-G dot com or by phone on our toll-free number at 1-888-730-0003 again 1-888-730-0003 extension 555 extension 555 
I also invite you to visit our website which contains a lot of useful information at www.kennydialogue.com. You can also visit us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Thanks for listening.